it's been a while since we've popped out to a to a truck meet. To a truck meet. My guy RJ sent me a flyer for a meet that uh, is going on tonight, Sunday night of all nights. Yeah, Sunday. It is, it is a weird night. And we're uh, popping out incognito tonight. In the Yoda. Kind of excited, yeah. I'm dude, like, dude, this thing all that. I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm about to find out. Dude, I just ride the governor at 109. That's all it does. What do you mean you just ride the governor at 109? 575. I was on 575 for eight. We're not, miles ride, a day. We're not riding no governor in this yeah, thing. Yeah. We're not doing nothing crazy like that. Absolutely not. Look, he's got all the fancy chargers in here for the camera. All the cool stuff, you know. What do you mean? Let me know. I say that you had all the fancy chargers. There's spots oh. in there. Oh, okay. You can plug it right here if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it diesel? No, it's the uh, twin turbo D6. Twin turbo. It's, it's like an ego boost. Fancy. It's, it's what it is. Fancy. Long sleeve was a terrible idea as well. Yeah, long sleeve pants. Terrible. Long and pants. Yeah. Trying to charge the camera over here while I'm filming. Sunday night truck meet. Let's get this bread. It's been a while since I've done a local Atlanta vlog, so I'm kind, I'm kind of excited. It's cool to film in the middle of the city because people might know where we're at. It's always kind of cool to me. If you film this quick trip, people will know. Oh, 100% people know what, what quick trip we're at, which is cool. Uh, what, what is this? Uh, Cobb Park? No. Barrett and Cobb. Barrett and Cobb. Barrett and, Bar Barrett and 41. So it's, it's cool for people to, people to be able to know. Like there was a kid that messaged me the other day that said uh, we were filming by his house and invited me yeah, to yeah. fish at his pond, which was cool. No, a water action, trying to stay hydrated. You know the vibes. You know what? Jeez. We're gonna go big boy. Hydrate, hydrate. Yes. What'd you get? Body armor and clear eyes. Clear eyes? Dogs bother me a little bit. Allergies have been killing me for the last couple of weeks. It's been it's been stupid. Like I I've been taking all kinds of medicine and just all kinds of stuff and I'm coughing and dying and hacking stuff up and my my I've been sneezing. I've been sneezing so bad and coughing so bad for the last couple of weeks that my abs, my very top two abs are sore. I've never had that happen my whole life. My top two abs are sore. I've been sneezing so much recently. It's like, it's stupid. Yeah. It, it frustrates the hell out of me. It really does. Like, why, why, why? And then I take a bunch of medicine and nothing works and it's like, like geez, man, freaking stupid. But it's probably been a year since I've been to a meet. When was the last meet that I went to? I don't know. I was telling Thomas that we need to uh, go do something crazy with his rental. Look, so we, we drove by U-Haul. U-Haul has the refreshed front end Silverado single cabs as rental vehicles. Single cab, long bed, white with the U-Haul on the side. It's probably like 50 bucks a day to rent it, plus mileage and gas. We need to go send it one day in a freaking refreshed front end U-Haul truck. 100%. We need to do that. Dude, do they have the, uh, are they the V6 or the? I, it don't matter. Five three. I'm or ripping me. a nasty little burnout in that that's thing. That's what I'm saying, we can. That's all I would just do it just to do a burnout in it. smoke the tires. First new body style, refresh front end, U-Haul truck, burnout. Think of that thumbnail and title. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see us do some crazy uh, uh, rental U-Haul bullshit. Oh, like all in this area right here? Yeah. When it wasn't this growing up, but we took our charge back here. Did you get stuck? No, but Jared and Nick did. Pulling up on the meet, and there's already cops out here. Shout out Marietta, huh? Cobb County on the scene. Can't make the scene if you ain't got no green, right? Cobb County is on it. Park on the end, and we'll just post up for a minute. Should we go park up by the uh, cops? <laughs> park right here, right next hey, to the How you doing? No, I'd park down here to the right on the end and just kind of hang out for a minute. This looks kind of... I hate when I pull up and there's like not too many people here because then it's like super obvious that you're here now. You know what I mean? Yeah, just kind of hang out right here for a minute. There's just a quick little impromptu pop-up meet. There are some cool trucks out here though, so we definitely need to go film. 
coming to meets is always so awkward. Is it? Is it just me, or is coming to meets like really awkward when, uh, you, when you get there? Yeah. It's always kind of weird at first. You don't know where to park. You don't know who's here. Yeah, I don't know who's here. People are like looking at you and like everybody's watching you roll in. I'm not gonna lie, when I first got into the truck game and I like first lifted my truck, it wasn't, it didn't bother me, right? And then once I stopped going and I don't go to stuff anymore, it's weird for me when now you, when, when I pull, pull up and- When you pull up with like a group of trucks, it's different. Yeah. Cause then you don't give a fuck. I used to not care at all, regardless. Yeah. But now I'm like, I don't wanna, like I don't even like driving my own truck anymore. Maybe I just fell off. Maybe I'm like- We pulled up in a rental. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm freaking, <laughs> I'm retired now. I'm not, I'm not cool anymore. Holy shit, I put 300 miles on the truck in two days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even film it. I was in Montgomery, Alabama this morning. Oh, you didn't film that? No, I didn't film any of that. Oh. Went all the way to Montgomery, three hours away from me, and didn't even tell Soul. Look, the cops are leaving. Look. Where y'all going? Fuck 12. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Cops are leaving? Y'all y'all leaving already? They didn't want to see the show. Lame. So I don't fuck with y'all. Uh, you can get a better shot now. <laughs> hey, hey, look at the, the, the back window that goes down. I've always thought that was one of the coolest things about the Tundras. I keep thinking this is a Titan. It feels titan. like a Titan to me. Yeah, it, I, dude, I keep it, forgetting it's a Titan. It looks just like the new Titans. And the new Frontiers. This Tundra. looks just like the Frontier. Tundra. Tundra. 100%. Yoda Gang. Yoda Gang. Uh, look, the lines. You can see tracks, yeah. Is that from y'all? The uh, lines? This is from Nick's uh, the excursion. Is it really? Yeah. And then oh, it's oh, it's that recent when he had the excursion. Yeah, bro. Like, see the tracks that go this way. And then we went. I took my truck in down there because it's more flat. <laughs> That's funny. I, I think the video's on my TikTok. To be honest. Yep, show it to me. A little pop up meet. Been to turn around and pop up meter. That's a big truck. That's for a no reason. Truck. This thing is huge. It's like a Gabe Farrell kind of truck. I think it's massive. Man, RJ. RJ makes videos on Instagram. Shout out. Showing some love. I'm like, you know, I got the Florida plate. Florida plate? Yeah. I'm technically not supposed to have Florida plates though, so it's kind of, probably shouldn't say that I have Florida plates, but I do. It's kind of a, Kind of illegal now at this It'll point. Be. The cops always say something to me about it. Every time I get pulled over, the cops say something. To me. Oh, it's got an any level. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, that, that's why I was asking if it sits about the same as that one. Um. Well, technically speaking, yes. I think the any levels. I don't know if they make anything bigger than the the two to the negative two to fifteen. But hey, what size tires on the dually? Though they're, they're both dualies. The the. The first, this one? Hey Nick, what size are the tires on your? 44. 44s. 44s on Nick's, 42s on Brad's. Yeah, so the, the 42s are either 26s probably? Yeah, they're probably 26s. So, fun fact, Stefan told me a couple days ago he was supposed to get a dually. Yeah. The white one we built was supposed to be a dually, but he was tired of waiting. So they cut him a good deal to really? get that platinum that came in, yeah. I feel like his, so, uh, his white his white truck it was, was looking, looking really good. I love it, yeah. The 30s were a good uh but this the dually this I'm sorry, the duallys though, the duallys are wild. The duallys just they they touch a they touch a, a, a spot in me, Thomas, that just not many things they, can do. They move you a different way. They move me a different way. Different motion of the ocean. You know what I mean? <laughs> the the duallys just have a place in my heart because they're they're wild. Dang! Oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Just monster of a fucking forty fours. Kids was at the shop the other day. Oh, yeah. Little green truck. Dang, I love the duallys. Beautiful. Beautiful. So one's any level and one's bags.
content. RJ, look at my man RJ over there, just killing it. <laughs> I had to make sure to come film this before I leave. What's up? Hello, remember me? Hello? She's like, you're the one that smells like other dogs. Yeah. RJ out here, killing the game, killing the F-150 game. I remember, I remember coming out to the... Coming out to the local Target meets and doing uh, dollar foot races. That motherfucker sounds good. It I remember like the foot races. The dollar foot races yeah, and yeah. the, you know, all the bullshit. <laughs> Brings back good memories, you know what I mean? Start over. <laughs> shout out, shout out Josh and Griffin at the meet. Try and throw people's names out there, name drop a little bit. Hey, any level lift truck was, you can't even, how dark is the tent on this stupid ass truck? Negative five. Negative five. What'd you say? I, for, for last minute pop-up meet, not terrible. Not terrible, it was definitely right. a good time. Doesn't let it, doesn't turn out. Holla at your boy. Sometimes I do little things like that. Always watching. Southern Time McDonough, this is Alex. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing, Mr. Alex? What's going on? I have a seat coming. Yeah, what? Hey, I got a couple of questions for you, man. All right. I actually, I actually stay down in Statesboro, Georgia, like South Georgia. Okay. I have a 2019 Dodge Ram, and I was trying to see if y'all had anything that I can put on the truck. I'm looking for some rims and tires. Yeah, I don't, keep, I don't have anything in the building, but I can definitely do something. Okay. You know, if I decided to do something, you know how long it'll take? Normally, I can have the truck built in a day. You can have everything done in a day? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the pe um, people that... I wanted to get a... I wanted to put a new kit on it. It's knocked out like this, so you probably... And I wanted to put a few oh, like grams on it. Yeah, I know. Uh, 35 or 30 inch or 30 We can do 37s on a 7 inch. And I've been in March, so... Appreciate it, man. I want to bring you up. I just yes, took off some 37 inches and some 24 uh, snowflakes. Okay. And I want I want yeah, something yeah. A, a little bit less aggressive than the 37. So if we do 35s, um, we can definitely do 35s. We uh, okay. can do either do 12 wides or 14 wides with 35s. Okay. Dude, okay, so I got a question yeah, that I was uh, thinking about this. It's already been checked and worked on because... Well, could I put some 4 on Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And you can... And, like, most of the time, I, know about, I don't know much about rims, my friends do. And they would tell me it's going to take about eight weeks to get the rims. Uh, it just depends on what wheel you go with. Box all the parts out. Freaking lunch vibes. UPS, lost Y'all ever done this at Chick-fil-A? Freaking fire. I mean, fire. I was finished this thing. The mill red is going to look a lot better. Oh, man. Sir? Sorry, I finally made some sense of what's going on here. Chicken nuggets, fries, mac and cheese. Checked in. Everything's, uh, in Buffalo line. barbecue. To that what? Um, mm. a lot of a lot of trucks here. Being oh my on. god! Do, mm. uh, it's been busy up here today, and I had to make sure to come out here and film my what possibly, as you, you know, it's my my favorite color of uh, 
of truck for everybody in the in the comments that never believe something's my favorite color 100 percent this red i mean shout out wolfpack is 100 percent my favorite color but they were uh from south carolina about to head home i wanted to make sure that i could uh come film it and and put it on the channel got to show some love to my people from out of town got the mcgoy's kit running it back with the the 2414 tis 544s and some furies it's uh it's it's always a clean setup if i was gonna get a new silverado 100 percent red i don't know if i'd go black wheels but red with the with the wide wheels and tires like i said they're uh, they're headed out of town so i just want to make sure to come show some love to my to my people coming from out of town love the color love the truck hell yeah I, I really get excited now when i have fords come through the shop because i know how excited you guys get in the comments when we build something other than a chevy and this one's a little special to me too because this is going to be the first of what i believe is a wave of fords to come through the shop and on the channel so over here 2022 ford f-150 we got the uh, seven inch Belltech lift 24 by 14s and some nitto tires now what's unique about this truck and i have a specific customer from texas when i'm talking to when i'm when i'm when i'm when i'm talking to the camera what's unique about this truck is it needs a fender modification but it's a hundred percent doable i've got a customer that doesn't believe it's possible to do an eight inch lift 37s and 14 wides and this is going to be the closest possible example that i can get of doing that and i was super excited for this one so let me show you what i'm talking about seven inch bell tech beautiful kit love the design it does have the uh it's actually a gray lift kit which is uh, different not a lot of companies use a gray lift kit i like that about bell tech got nice nice little mountain logos on there bell tech got the nice box compression struts up front love that love that 24 by 14 kg1 bounties really love the bounty wheel especially in black it's got a great set of milling accents on it love the kg1 design i love a lot of the kg1 wheels uh with the with the spike lug nuts gotta have the spike lug nuts best tire in the world 325 45 24 nitto terra grappler love the terra grapplers rides great no noise good wet traction longevity good miles it's all around one of the best tires that you can put and i'm not just saying that because i run nothing but nittos on my trucks but you know i'm just i'm just throwing that out there love the nittos paired up with the kg1 so what's unique about this is these 325s are like a 35 by 13 right but we got a 24 by 14 wheel on here so with the seven inch lift yes it does need a little bit of a fender modification but got a little bit of trimming up front touch it up with some paint a little bit of plastic on the edges we do have to cut the crash bars out in the front that you guys can kind of see in there a little bit maybe i can't tell because it's right out here and then yes we do have to cut the crash bars out the back a little bit of trim and touch it up out the door technically speaking the 2022 f-150s have a better fitment than the 2020 body style does the 2020s in my opinion are a lot more closed up and there's not as much room i know that the 22s in my opinion have more room in the corners right the corners than the 2020 body style long story short from a fitment from a fitment standpoint i think that the 2022s are better for the bigger wheels and tires than the 20s so my customer in texas who's ready to do an 80 inch lift 14 wides and 37s or 38s it's 100 percent doable love the truck love the new body style f-150s I'm definitely a big fan i'm looking forward to doing more of these on the channel more of these at the shop in general Mr. Antoine, you're amazing. I really appreciate the opportunity. The truck looks great. Shout out KG1. Shout out Nitto. Let's get his bread.